Hi guys, today I'm going to do a virtual walk around a fashion stop Land Rover Discovery Sport. This is the uh, 2 litre TD4 HSE. And of course, because it's the Discovery Sport, you've got the seven seats in there as well. And it's finished in this gorgeous chorus grey, classic Land Rover colour. Really nice. Going down to the alloys, we've got the 19 inch multi spoke alloys, or the Y spoke alloys as you call them. It's finished in black, looking really nice. You've obviously got the Land Rover centre cases too. If we go to the front, put your Land Rover LED headlights, daytime running lights, looking really nice. As you can see, we've got your Land Rover engraving on there as well. Really nice. Because it's HSC, you've got all the HSC styling kit and looking nice and really good. Going to the sides, got a nice chrome finish on the uh, side vents. You've also got matching coloured wing mirrors to the body colour and black housing. Nice black trim going on the outside of the windows and black B pillars. If we go to the back, you of course got the uh, HSC rear. You've got twin exhausts on either side, looking really nice. If we go and open up the boot, uh, press the button, the boot will pop open. Really nice. As you can see, great boot space. You can also put the seats up and down. So, if we put the seat down, you can see the boot space, really spacious and nice. You can also fold them seats down to make it even bigger. And then if you want to put the seats up, all you do is pull this, the seats will come up. So you've got two seats in the back. So nice and it's nice and spacious still, looks good. Press the button, the boot will close on its own. Going on into the rear, you're welcome with your full leather upholstery. Really nice and comfy, and also really spacious. Really good. You've also got a nice panoramic sunroof, which closes off if you want the blinds to close. There's just a button in the front which closes it. But really nice and open, just gives you an even bigger feel. Down here, you've also got a charging point for your phone, or whatever. Going into the front. Got fully electric seats. You've also got lumbar support. So really nice and comfy seats. If we get into the driving seat, it's automatic stop start, so you've got a wireless key entry, so you can have your key in your pocket, press the stop start button, the car will turn on. And we just uh, turn the sound out. So you've got controls on either side of the steering wheel, full leather steering wheel, really nice. You've got your volume control and your uh, mode control for your digital driving dash here, which you can get all your different options on and your different settings. You've also got your hands-free settings there as well. On this side, you've got your cruise control and limiter, so that's really nice and easy to use. You've also got flappy paddles as well if you want to change gears using the steering wheel. Going down, you've got your central locking located here, and you've also got your fully electric automatic windows here, and the child lock settings there. And also, if you push these two in, you've got electric folding wing mirrors, so that's really nice. Going on to the media display, touch screen, very nice media display. So if you go to source, you can see you've got DAB, FM, AM and AUX. You can also connect your phone through Bluetooth and USB for your own music. You've got your climate control settings, you can choose where the temperature comes from. And then also you've got your hands-free settings there. You've also got a navigation function, so if you want a navigation system, you just need to order a card online, They're very cheap and easy, just plug it in and you'll have a navigation system. And you've got all your different settings as well. Going down, you've got heated seats on either side, and you've got your dual zone climate control with a nice display showing what's going on. So that's really nice. And you've also got your different terrain modes of the car, so you can put it in uh, off-road mode, uh, winter mode, and uh, like sand mode. And you've also got your traction control and your downhill mode. You've also got automatic stop-start and eco mode. If you want to save some fuel. But down here, you've got your gear stick. So all you need to do is put your foot on the brake. You can go through different gears. And you can also go into sport mode. You push it down. Going down again. You've got two drinks holders, which you can also slide this off. That's really nice. And you've also got your handbrake there. You've also got a nice five volt there, USB ports, charge your phone if you want. Going to your center console, you've got more storage space, the navigation point to put your navigation card in, USB, auxiliary, and then another 12 volt. So with that all being said and done, if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact our sales team and potentially this could be your next new car. Cheers.